Today's episode is all about isoamyl acetate. Get excited. Hi, I'm Caribbean Andy. I want to show you easy ways to make better cocktails at home and talk a little bit about my bartending experience on the way. Check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and well, hey, let's see what I'm going to make today. Today, uh, as you may have noticed, I'm wearing a banana shirt and we're gonna make a banana cocktail. This is my variation on a banana bliss, which is a classic cocktail. Typically the recipe you'll find is a two to one ratio or even one to one ratio of cognac and creme de banana. A lot of banana liqueurs out there. Banana flavor, also very divisive. Uh, isoamyl acetate is what we think of when we think of banana flavor. That's what's in banana runts. It's what's in circus peanuts. Uh, it's something that I honestly moms like and nobody else does. But uh, isoamyl acetate is naturally occurring and also really easy to synthetically produce. The thing is, bananas, would you believe, uh, the bananas we eat today are known as Cavendish bananas. A hundred years ago, we were eating Gros Michel bananas. Those were the ones that were in vogue. They were all wiped out during, uh, you know, a banana pandemic. And uh, today we have the Cavendish bananas instead, which have a much lower concentration of that isoamyl acetate. So the bananas we eat now uh, don't have as much of that strong flavor. So when you eat a banana runt, you're actually tasting uh, what bananas tasted like in the 1930s and 1940s. Uh, crazy, isn't it? And by the way, if any of you uh, watching this are, are chemists and uh, I'm getting any of this wrong, please uh, keep that information to yourself. I'm trying to sound smart. Now, uh, when it comes to banana and cocktails, obviously there's, you know, recipes. You can put a banana in your cocktail, especially for a blended drink. It's a great addition. Uh, there's also a lot of banana liqueurs out there, and most of them do have that, like, banana runt kind of fake banana taste, which I don't love. Uh, if you're into that, if you're a mom making cocktails, then go for it. I really like this Temp Tempest Fugit creme de banana. I like all of their products. They are very sweet, but everything in here is all natural and all natural in the sense that like it's actual uh, food that's being put in it. And this uh, this is no exception. It's, it's sweet. It has almost sort of like a, a banana bread kind of flavor. Their stuff is a little bit more expensive too, but I think it's worth it, honestly, especially if you're gonna do a cocktail like this. And today this is a stirred drink, uh, so we're gonna make it in our Uri mixer. I just got a new one because I broke my old one and cut my foot in the process of doing that. A little inside info there for you. Um, this is a stirred drink, uh, so let's go ahead and make it. Uh, the recipe that I've come up with, I'm going to do a two to one ratio of cognac and creme de banana. So we'll do one and a half ounces of our Cavassier. Three quarters of an ounce of our Tempest Fusion creme de banana. And then we're just gonna add in a little bit of sweet vermouth. I did this uh, for a bar and I use Carpano Antica, which has a really nice sort of like raisiny uh, prune kind of flavor. But Dolan, Dolan Rouge also, I think, uh, does a really nice job. And also, it's what I had in my house. So just a quarter ounce of that. And then uh, classically, I, I do believe orange bitters are used in this cocktail, but I love black walnut bitters. And what is a better pair than bananas and walnuts? So... Just one dash of that. Uh, these uh, Fee Brothers Black Walnut Bitters are, are great. I really like them. I haven't actually ever had any other variety that I can think of off the top of my head. I don't know why I ever even pretend like I'm going to use that ice scoop. Fill our mixing glass. Give it a nice stir. It's so soothing. And then you could totally strain this over a big rock. I'm just doing smaller ice cubes. You 
give it one more little stir. And then for a garnish, we use a little uh, banana chip, yeah? Right? That's dumb. <laughs> but regardless, I mean, this is a great cocktail. It's got such a nice, like, uh, rich texture from the creme de banana. It's that it's banana y. Uh, it's it's a nice sipper. I don't ever, I would never think of myself as a, a cognac fan. And I honestly, I think this would be great. You could swap in rye or bourbon. Uh, just really get get yourself some creme de banana and go wild. This is great for the colder weather. This is great for any day of the week. Have it for breakfast. Really nice banana toffee notes. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you'll check out uh, more of my videos. Uh, click the subscribe button down below and the thumbs up if you like what you saw. Uh, give this recipe a shot. Let me know what you think. Uh, cheers. Bye.